In the last video, we learned how to use the find opportunity action inside of the workflows. And in this video, we're going to learn how to leverage that and use the update opportunity action now. So if you have a look at my screen here, you can see that under find opportunity, we do have a branch which says opportunity found. So in this case, we can make use of the update opportunity action from this drop down here. So I'll just search for that and we will find this right here. So let's go ahead and select that. So you can read here if a find opportunity action is present, which we do have here then it will update the matching record, which was found in the previous step. Otherwise, it updates the opportunity to trigger the workflow. If neither is found, nothing happens, right? So that is why the find opportunity is really key as we first need to find a record that needs to be updated. So now if you look at the setup here, the first thing we have is, do we want to allow opportunity to move to any previous stage in pipeline? Now this is pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to enable this, you can. I do not want to do it because my first stage is new lead. And after that, we have hot leads and lead follow up all of that so i don't think it is necessary in this use case then we're going to click on add field here as we need to tell this step what are the fields or the data that we need to update if we do find the opportunity so from this fields drop down the first thing i'm going to do is select the pipeline here as we need to define that and then i'll go ahead and define the pipeline stage so if we take a quick look at our pipeline right here you can see we have new leads and if a lead is qualified we do have a qualified column right here so ideally we want to move this opportunity over to this so from the pipeline stage we will select qualified ensuring that the lead is moving through and once we have added the pipeline stage we are pretty much good to go so we will go ahead and click on save action and then we will make sure that we publish and save this workflow now if we do run this one more time this workflow triggers based on a tag which is qualified which will get applied by our sales team and once that happens it will search for the opportunity in our pipeline and if the opportunity is found it will go ahead and update that opportunity and if it is not found then it will create the opportunity and one thing we did miss in the last step is that if we do create the opportunity again manually then instead of creating them in the new lead we can just create them in the qualified stage because the tag does say qualified so this is something that will help you make sure then even if you missed creating the opportunity for some reason, or maybe they didn't come in from the service submission, you can still catch them and have them updated in your pipeline. So once we're done with this, I'm going to rename this to have proper naming conventions. So this is the second workflow that we have created where we have used find and update opportunity if the lead is qualified, right? So once we're happy with this, we'll just go ahead, make sure it's published and hit save. And once this workflow is published, I'll just go ahead and test this out. So this is the contact that has that opportunity. So I'll just go ahead and add in the qualified status right here. And this should trigger the update action. So in a few moments, you will see that it should be updated. And there it is. So it works successfully. And if we go back into our automation and go to execution logs, you can see that it found the opportunity first and then it updated it because it already existed. So this was how you can use the update opportunity action inside of your workflows. In the next video, we will learn how to delete an opportunity if for some reason you are disqualifying the lead.